Hey, kia ora, Helen Brums here coming to you live from Escondido, California. It has been a busy day. How was your Saturday? Mine was super fantastic and sparkling and very packed, very action packed. Um, and I'm on early because I need to um, take um, Zephy out for a walk and then settle in for um, tonight's movie, which is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, but what happened today? Well, today was first day of school for Zephy. So we got to take her to training. She did really, really well. There were four dogs in the class. There was um, one that was a Doberman Husky mix, which looked very much like Gus. And Gus was um, Shepherd Beneath Mountain Dog and something else. Um, there was a Labradoodle. Um, let's see, the, the I'm trying to remember how old the dogs were. Zephy was the oldest one there at nine months. Um, there was a five-month-old black and white boxer. I have never seen a black and white boxer before, and she was gorgeous. I love boxers. I think they are they're an amazing dog. Um, and normally I've only seen the brown and white ones, and this one was black and white, and she was stunning. And she she um she's almost six months old. Then there was a labradoodle who was five or six months old, and then there was the um, Doberman Husky mix who was like twice the size of Zephy. <laughs> He's gonna be a she's, he's gonna be a big boy when he grows up, and he was like six months old as well. And then you had Zephy at nine months, so um, but really good first day. Um, Zephy was picking up on the stuff; she loved it, and she was going as far as the leash would let her go. She would go wandering around, and then when and today was a lot of talking and instructing. Next week is going to be more doing than talking. And um, so during the talking portion, Zephy was whining like crazy. And then when they came around and said, and they started with me with what I wanted to teach her to do and what my goal was for the six weeks that we're together. So what are some of the issues that we have, that I have with her? And then what are, what's my goal at the end of the six weeks? And this poor couple with their little um, Labradoodle, they turned around and went, ditto. <laughs> Somebody else went, ditto, ditto. So she left the Labradoodle ones till last and went around with everything else. But Zephy did really, really good. I'm very proud of her. We got her back to the car and she was she just conked out. She just slept the whole way home. She was exhausted. Um, she did pee in the store on our way out, um, but that's okay. We got it all cleaned up and everything else. Um, but overall, very good. Um, tomorrow we actually go back and have one-on-one -on -one training with the trainer. So it's just going to be um, the trainer and I and Zephy. So it's going to be good. We can hopefully um, work on some of the um, separation anxiety stuff that she has. Um, she also got a picture taken with, with um, Santa Claus because he was there in the um, pet store today. So we'll post that picture later. Um, she wasn't being very cooperative, but we managed to get a decent picture of her with Santa. Um, and uh, then took her home and then I left and then I got her home, stayed for a few minutes, then put her in a crate and went out and got some, did some grocery shopping because tonight is National Lampoon Christmas Vacation. But before we get to that, um, I actually watched two Christmas movies last night. Two, two. The both of them were about an hour and a half long. Um, pretty good movies, completely different movies. So there was um, Cinderella Story Christmas Wish, which is a teenage type movie. Um, about a girl who wants to be a singer-songwriter. So there is singing in there and pretty good singing too, not bad. Um, and um, oh, I just have to write this note down before I forget because it has to pertain to the next movie. Um, What's singing? <laughs> singing reminded me. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that. Um, great movie, um, Teenagers. It was the whole Cinderella story. She lives with her stepmom and her two stepsisters. She wants to do her singer-songwriter. She works at Wonderland as an elf. She meets the, the rich kid who happens, uh, the billionaire son that everybody's all crazy about. Um, and they're having their big winter gala, winter gala um, Christmas thing. And of course, the stepsisters find out that she's got an invitation, burn it all up. And, you know, the whole Cinderella story, but this time with a kind of, it's, it's Cinderella story. It really is. And it was cute. And there was a couple of times I wanted to punch a couple of people, but that was okay. <laughs> they got their comeuppance in the end. That was good. Um, and then the other one was um, The Christmas Candle. And it's um, written by, um, based on the book by Max um, Licato. And really, really good Christmas drama. It was awesome loved it so it's all about this guy who was a um who was a priest who worked on the podium he went and started working with salvation army and this takes place oh, when will this take place it's not modern times they were still using horses and buggies so probably late 1800s and it takes place in england um and he gets 
um, goes to this town and in this town there is a candle maker and this guy this family has been making candles for like 200 250 years something like that and um, every year um, an angel comes down when they make the they make the Christmas candles and an angel comes down and the angel touches one of the candles and whoever prays to that candle they get their Christmas miracle um, so it was kind of interesting to see that and uh, of course the the um, the priest comes into town and he's sort of like, yeah, no, that's not happening. That's all superstition and all of that sort of stuff. And we're going to go with electricity, which was just coming in at the time. So that tells you the time period. Um, and just the learning to fit into this community. And he's trying to get out their superstition about this candle and how it can perform these miracles and stuff. Um, and it's, it was a really heart wrenching story. It was, it was awesome. Yes. There were tears shed sparkles of love were shed on that on that movie so make sure you have tissues if you're going to watch it um but the cinderella story came out this year um was on netflix both of them i saw on netflix and then the christmas candle is also on netflix and that was i loved it i might actually go watch it back again because i really enjoyed that story um it's just of because the priest had actually lost his um wife and baby to consumption and so of course he was not in a good place and kind of lost his faith a little bit so it's about him finding his faith again um, through the, this community. And um, they go into this, he goes into the church and there's this gorgeous singing going on in this church. It sounds amazing because you've got the echo going up into the into the actual um, church, into the, into the rafters and all that sort of stuff. And the guy um, who's billeting the um, the priest comes in and says, he says, oh, he says, that's my wife. She said, He's got, she's got a voice of an angel. And they go and you hear this gorgeous singing it's beautiful and they zoom in on the woman singing and the and the um the guy's wife was played by susan boyle who was um one of the original was i think i think it was the original winner of britain's got talent um but i know she won her her series of britain's got talent but um she was um she was the wife and uh she was she was really cute i mean um and of course her singing voice in this in this church was just incredible um and of course, I just got it on on crappy TV speakers, and because I don't have my surround sound hooked up to the TV, and I'm not sure how you do that in an RV, but I don't want to blast the the residents out, so I keep it just to the TV, so I don't annoy the residents. But even coming across the TV speak, the crappy TV speakers, her voice was incredible, and she got a couple of good singing places in there, and at one point does um does a duet with the priest, which sounds amazing. Um, but the story itself was just, it was an incredible, incredible story and totally loved The Christmas Candle. So um, two really good movies last night, good teenage one with the Cinderella story and then the good um, the good Christmas drama with The Christmas Candle with a really good message and everything else and just showing you how kindness to others, it was all about kindness to others in that one. So, um, so two very good movies last night. Tonight is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I went and got my shopping. I did get my pate because I like my pate. And I found some um, cheddar chips. And what they are, it's just basically taking cheddar on baking sheets and piles of cheddar and just putting it in the oven and letting it melt down and they become like crackers. So um, gluten-free, um, keto-friendly. Um, I, did, I did get this little... Thing. it's about this square and it is actually a fruit cake and they say it's two servings I'm gonna make it last four because it looks like it could be a little on the rich side um, but yeah because I like my Christmas cake with my fruit and nuts in there this one's got a lot of nuts in it um, but it's just a little small square it's probably about two inches all the way around um, and I figured and I looked at the size of it, and I thought that can last me for me up four servings and uh, so it's gonna last me over the next four days and I get my little bit of Christmas cake in there as well um, so yes, I got my pate, got my cheddar chips. What else have I got in there? Got some coleslaw, um, some seafood salad. Um, what else did I get? I think that was it. Yeah. So it's gonna be keto friendly. Oh, and I'll have I'll have my keto shake as well. And then I have my dessert that I made the other night with the um, the heavy whipping cream, the cream cheese, the pumpkin, pumpkin spices, coconut, the protein powder, the protein booster. The cocoa powder, the sugar-free, gluten-free chocolate chips, dark chocolate as well. It has to be dark chocolate. Um, and a few craisins. But it's enough in there that it's going to last me like four or five meal, four or five desserts. So um, had some last night. It was so good. 
so good. Oh, and the unsweetened shredded coconut as well. So the only sugar that is in there is whatever's in the craisins, and there's not a lot of craisins in there. Um, so, yeah, just enough to give it a little bit of sweetness and give you a little something chewy in the middle there. So that's been sitting in there, and it came out really, really good. So happy with that. So all of that's done. So now I'm off to take Zephy for a walk. Um, she's really good because if I take her out about this time of night, she won't want to go out again till the morning. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so a good first day in training. Two good movies last night, and tonight it is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yay! Yes, just can't have my salt and vinegar chips to go with the chocolate. And I don't have the chocolate to go with the salt and vinegar chips. Arr, that's the only part missing from my traditional Christmas fear that I have when I watch this movie. So, um, yeah. But I'll tell you all about that tomorrow night. And if, I, if I'm really good, I might actually get two movies in tonight. Yes. Okay. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening. We are off for a walk. Great first day at school. We'll let you know how her training, her one-on-one -on -one training goes tomorrow. Um, we're going to be working on her jumping up and her um, separation anxiety tomorrow. So um, that'll be kind of good. But she she seemed to do okay today. Mind you, I probably tired her out with the training. And she was all over the place. She was like, oh, dogs. And she actually, she actually made friends and she was very good socially. So that was good. Um, enjoy your walk and be safe. Oh, yes. Always safe with the thing. I'm in the in the camping ground, but I have a reflective vest that I wear when I go out. And um, Zephy actually has a leash that has a button on it, and the whole centerpiece of the leash comes on as a solid light, or it flat, or the light flashes fast or slow. So um, yes, and then I have my little headlamp that I wear as well, so completely visible. Uh, make yourself as visible as possible um, with the, and it's a full reflective vest that goes over the whole torso. Um, and it's pink to match her reflective pink because her um her leash is also reflective as well as having the light piece light strip down the middle as well and the light gets charged on a usb cable so kind of nice and um yeah and then i have the little headlamp flashlight on so um yes we're very visible and there's also some lamps around the rv park as well so people will see us and i always make sure that she walks on the side against where the RVs are so that she's not out in the middle of the road because she's a little darker and just having her um, her leash is not enough for her. I may, um, in fact, I probably will end up getting her a, a reflective vest for when we go walking at nights as well. But I am looking at a really cool harness um, that might work better than working, walking her on a collar. Um, and that's the whole harness is reflective and has a little light bit on it too. So we'll see. We're, we're still investigating. We're only four weeks in because we had got her four weeks today. So, um, yeah, so she's only four, four weeks in. So, anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. If you have Netflix and want a couple of really good movies, you got the teenage movie of Cinderella's story, The Christmas Wish, and The Christmas Candle, which is a bit of a Christmas drama, but very, very good message in there. Um, so go and enjoy the movies if you're into Christmas and want to see some really good Christmas stuff. Um, and I will catch you guys tomorrow because I'm off for a walk then. Christmas vacation time. Heck on era.